Um, I was having some issues going to the bathroom and things just didn't seem right. Something just, just something told me things weren't right. It was probably one of the first indicators that I had. My dad was previously diagnosed a year prior, so I knew something had to be looked at or checked. Uh, probably the biggest thing, I thought I was gonna die. Uh, that was probably my very first thought. And then I was relieved later by that by a doctor who said people don't die from colon cancer these days. We're able to save people's lives by early screening and things like that. That was my first reaction. I guess to look on the brighter sides, at first I had gotten down and um, just tried to stay positive if I could. Uh, went to a few meetings with other people that had the same condition I'd had and just trying to be as positive as possible. Chemo and radiation was very, very tough. One of the biggest things that impacted me after a year, I had a recurrence. And instead of staying in town, I went to Duke University. And two of my fraternity brothers went with me. And they were there through my PET scan and another CT scan just to get a second opinion. And the fact that those two guys went with me up to Duke and uh, they were a big support for me at that time. That really kind of told me who my friends were and that was a, one of the biggest things I learned early on that they would always be there for me in the good or the bad. If you have a family history, the biggest thing to do is get checked early. Colon cancer affects my life every minute that I'm awake. I always think about it. Uh, it's always impacted me one way or another, sometimes bad, sometimes good. And it's just something I live with and grateful for lots of days. I'm gonna be here knowing that I got detected early and took care of this thing.